Hello, I'm Rich Burnett from The Sound of Machines, and this is the fifth episode of Let's Hear How This Sounds. This is a show about writing and recording song demos. The only catch here is that the instruments and the plugins that I'm about to use are going to be randomly chosen by a program that I made. Beyond that, there are no rules, so let's get started. As always, we start with our randomizer, so I'm going to click this little push me to randomize button and get some options here. Let's push this button three times like we like to do. One two and three bpm of 140 first instrument bass guitar i like starting with that one second instrument a stylophone a uh, fun little synth uh field recording stairwell heater great this is the first episode that i'm actually all set up to use uh some field recording so it'll be fun to incorporate that and wildcard a cardboard microphone i actually used one of these in the last episode so we'll use one again so let's move on over to ableton i'm gonna set up my tracks here bass guitar stylophone was it a stairwell heater so the tempo a 140 sounds like this but again, I, I don't like starting with just that generic click click. I'm gonna put a track up here up top. I'm gonna call this one temp loop. I'm going to put a drum loop in here that I'll then um, replace. But at least this gives us a, a little starting rhythm. This is gonna dictate sort of where I go from here. Let's bring in the stairwell heater. So I've got a folder of field recordings I've done. In this case, this is a stairwell with a little heating grate. I'm just kind of running my finger up and down the, the little metal grate and it sounds a little like this. I've dragged the file directly into my Ableton. You can hear it in there. It starts off with a fun little Right, that's cool. What if we pitch it up a little? That's uh, the artifacts there are kind of neat. Bum, 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 bum. What if I really dig into giving it some little stutters here at the end? Um, neat resonance here. I'm gonna make another track so I can um, process this recording a bit differently. Pull that off right off the bat. If you want to find out what note any of these nodes are, you can always open up your window by clicking this arrow, and this corresponds to a G. Neat. I'm going to really emphasize this G note here. Ooh, that's like sonar all of a sudden. Freezing it and then flattening it. So now that's just how this sample sounds. And I can pitch it down and it'll sound like another note. Let's find some other cool sounds in this. Maybe I'll try stuttering this guy. I'm gonna preserve 16th notes. Neat, huh? So let's start this one with preserve eighth notes. This one preserves 16th notes. This one preserves 30 seconds and uh, drag you out. I'm gonna mash it all into one thing here. And I'll go into my clip editor, um, mess with the transposition. Um, let's make, let's change this from beats to complex because that's going to allow me to kind of warp the pitch. So maybe it goes up. Let's see what this sounds like. Higher. Take all these low ends out. A bit of a glue compressor on there. Ba, 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 da, da, da. I feel like it's missing a few beats at the beginning in order to make it sound like a full phrase. In the stairwell, I've got this little sample. I'm going to drag this sample down into the sampler. And then in this simpler, I'm going to make a, a MIDI sequence. One, two, four. 
Rough snare, huh? Let's see if I can turn this into something a little less ugly, huh? I've changed where it where the sample starts. I've put a bit of a, a high pass filter on it. I changed the preserve transients mode to just forward and I kind of dropped the envelope down. It definitely sounds like the same snare over and over again to give it a bit of variation. I'm using the LFO at a, at a random um, wave to kind of add a bit of variations in the volume um, where the snare sound lands. Um, a bit of pitch variations. Uh, it's varying the filter a little bit. Um, maybe it's a bit uh, much, but hey, we're just starting out here. So let's uh, let's play around with this and keep going. I wonder if I can just make a good background texture out of this stairwell. Y you know it's there, but you're not really focusing on it. Hmm. Take most of the high out. Low ends out too. I'm gonna put a reverb on. Freeze and flatten. Now if I put a compressor on here and side chain it to, let's say, the temp loop. Um, yeah, now it's just a, a bit of nice ambient background noise. I call this one sonar. Let's raise this guy up to what? A third? Three steps? One step. Some fun little bits and pieces in here. Put all of these guys into their own group. Stairwell. Should this stairwell be a repeating? It's almost like a crash of some sort. Let's close up the stairwell group for now and move on. Okay, going back to our random selections here, the next instrument, bass guitar, chorus ensemble, and erosion. I'm gonna go grab my bass. Kind of cold, I'm putting another hat on. It is a dreary, rainy evening. I love it. Tune, tune, tune. And, uh, I'm just gonna mess around. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, let's work with this little um, ditty here. Some heavy old compression on here. Sorry, not sorry, compression. Uh, chorus ensemble, how's this guy gonna sound? Groovy. I'm gonna turn it off of this bass track. I'm gonna duplicate this bass track though. I'm going to take a lot more of the low end off of it. I'm going to roll off a lot of the high ends off of this first this main track. The one with the higher ends is the one I'm going to turn the chorus on. Uh, I'm going to duplicate the bass one more time. Second one's got a nice um, chorus. This top guy, this low end, is um, pretty dry. So now I'll group all these three bass guitars together. Bass. I don't like that wide noise. I don't like the wide noise on this bass. It just sounds like a broken amp. But the randomizer said that we need to use it. So here is how I'm going to use it. I'm actually gonna put an LFO in 
to give this erosion some movement. All right, so I'm gonna map this LFO to the frequency, but I'm gonna take its limits down a little. So now I'm limiting it to that specific range. It's a little fast, so I'm gonna slow it down. Take it down even lower. So stylophone is the next instrument that was on our randomizer. Then the randomized effects uh, were a hybrid reverb and a beat repeat for that stylophone. So the stylophone is, is um, hanging out over here, hanging out there. So the stylophones, this little um, synthesizer. So I take this little pen, which is connected electronically as you drag it across a keyboard here. So there's a bunch of controls on it as well that I'm going to mess around with here. So here we go. Isn't there a master tuning? This thing is not... <laughs> This thing does not hold a, a steady tone, a steady note. I'm gonna use it more as an effect here for at least this first, this first go around. Let's see what happens. So he's also got a built-in delay. Sounds pretty cool. So we've got hybrid reverb already on it, but let's see what we can do to make something a bit more interesting. Take my hat off. It's Warming up. The cool thing with hybrid hybrid reverb is that you can uh, apply um, your own sound file here to use as a reverb tail. So I'm going to go into the stairwell group. Let's grab this little rattle. Let's use this as a reverb tail, and and uh, we'll f we'll see here what that sounds like. I'm just gonna click on this and drag it into this window. That's pretty cool. Dig it. Still need to use beat repeat somewhere on the stylophone. So stylo re repeater. Um, this will be the test. I'm going to give it a stutter or I should say a, a quasi tremolo. Now with that tremolo, I wonder if this beat repeat will give us some interesting results. Let's put the beat repeat before the reverb. So I'm telling it right now to only turn on when this beat repeat is actually grabbing the signal and doing its dirty work. Interesting. So now it's just this random, uh, it's almost like a, b a broken computer. I'm going to put an auto pan in here. Group these guys together, call it the stylophones. So the last thing here that the randomizer kindly asked us to use is a cardboard mic. I've actually got two different cardboard types of cardboard mics. One is the guy that we used last time. Looks like this here. We used it on the drums. And then the other one is this. This is a full on piece of cardboard with four piezo elements on it. So let me see. I'll think about it here. I think I'm going to use the cardboard, this little cardboard mic. For one reason, I got myself a new kalimba.
Something about the shape of these being so similar makes me want to try miking the kalimba with this. I think I'm going to lay the kalimba down on top of that cardboard mic. Thing is, is that this is going to pick up like any noise and the electrical tape makes noise when I push on it. Do I just push hard? Okay, so make this new track here. Cardboard Kalimba. Cardboard Cow. Hello, my name is Cardboard Cow. I'll be your Cardboard Kalimba player for the evening. I am going to play around here and just kind of see what happens here. <laughs> Is there a harmony I'd like to do here? So this is the point where I start uh, arranging the track and coming up with some sort of structure that's not just the same part repeated over and over. So yeah, I'm gonna do that now. Alright, so I did some arranging and you can see my markers here that indicate each section. So I uh, put a, a four bar intro, a first verse that goes into a little vamp section, uh, rolls into a verse two here. You'll notice I don't really have a chorus. Um, that's because I think the chorus might be the second part of each verse. Sometimes a standard song structure just isn't what happens, and that's totally fine. I then go into a bridge section, which is sort of like a breakdown, and then another little vamp after that bridge section, then we go right back into a verse. I might as well have put a little marker that said chorus, but again, I'm, I'm not sure if the second part of this verse is considered a chorus and then the song ends with a little outro section so that's what i got going on here in the arrangement so let's continue on here i'm gonna put some additional percussion in here i'm gonna use this to record the the drums and uh get a good trashy uh, drum kit in the background of this track so i don't have a camera that's gonna capture a great angle for this but this is what i got going on here i've got this piece of cardboard just sitting up on this chair it's connected to my um, preamp and it's pointed at my drum kit. Let's hear how this sounds. That gives me some fun bits and pieces to push around and work with here. On this one track, I opened up the clip editor. Uh, on this one kit track, uh, I'm gonna uh, pitch it up an octave. It definitely introduces some strange artifacting. But it adds an interesting texture to the full piece. I like it. A little bit of an organic drum uh, set in there recorded on a piece of cardboard. And of course, it's not a demo track until it's got a tambourine in it. Right on. I'm going to take this moment to write some vocals and then I'll be right back. So I've uh, I wrote some uh, I wrote some words as I was writing words. I had these two vocal tracks here. Uh, these are kind of my scratch tracks and um, I'm going to make new ones. So, here we go. Mm, red light, I think we're moving. 
red light. I think we're moving. How about I actually hit the words? I'm gonna take this off. It's a little hot. Red light. I think we're moving. But the day is all yell and swing and punch and kick. But the day is all yell and swing and punch and kick. I missed it. I missed. I missed the note. It's tumbling down. It's tumbling down from overhead. Maybe we should be screaming even if it's all just pretend. Hold on to that maybe. Hold on to yourself until the end. Shaker. You're just a tiny thing. I put you in my pocket. So once again, I'm getting way too involved, uh, which is fine, but this is a demo, so I want to stop it here. All right, so it's two days later, and I realized that I really don't like the vocals I recorded. I sound strained, I'm out of tune, so I'm going to try something a bit more subtle, just a bit lower energy. I don't think I have the ability to really belt out the vocals the way that this song might require for a final version. I'm gonna re-record them and this has gotta be it, right? Here we go. As usual, I spent way too much time on the song demo. I am a lot happier with how this sounds. After some tweaking and editing, this is what the final demo sounds like. Just a tiny thing I'll put you in my pocket Then turn the world all inside out To get you out again You're just a pretty little heart-shaped picture Trapped inside a locket I'll open the world in half To get you out again Maybe we should be
Thank you so much for sticking around this far into the video. I'll see you on the next episode of... Let's hear how this sounds.